Good afternoon, everyone. Good day, good morning, or good evening. Welcome to another Paint With Me session. We'll start in five minutes. I'm just waiting for some people to pop up here. So if you are a replay squad from the replay gang, feel free to skip to that part where I will actually start this workshop. Let me just show my face. Ah, too big. <laughs> there you go. Hello, everyone. Let's start in five minutes because I have another workshop later, 2 p.m. But today, we will paint peonies. Uh, this will be a beginner's course or workshop, but I do encourage you to paint along even if you've been painting with watercolors for a couple of months now or if you consider yourself an a beginner intermediate let's just have fun painting flowers march is my flower month and next month we might have a different topic i'm looking into sunsets but i need to launch a poll for this so if you are here if you are just watching if you are painting along or if you are watching the replay, please do drop a comment or a live chat so I can acknowledge you and just say hi. I have Elise here. Hello, Elise. Welcome back. Actually, I have three workshops today. So busy, but I am so happy to be doing what I love to do. Who else do we have here? Please make sure that you have your materials ready with you. Hello, Consuelo. Is this the first time we're meeting? Hi. Where was I? Yeah, please check the link below where you can see the reference photo. But uh, this is just a chill paint with me. Unlike the other workshops we had where we will be working with backgrounds, this time we'll just work on a watercolor illustration. So very easy to follow. So you might not even need to check the reference photo. Hi, Delaine. Hi, Hazel. Oh, yes, for Consuelo. This is the first time we're meeting. Hi, Consuelo. And we also have Delaine and Hazel. Yeah. I think we can start now. Hi, Teacher Yomi. Good afternoon. Okay, if this is the first time we're meeting, this is Bianca, an aspiring watercolorist from the Philippines who loves to teach. I've been offering both free and exclusive watercolor workshops since May 2020. Hi, Marjorie. I've been seeing new names here. Hello, beautiful people. Nice to meet you. And where was I? Yeah, I've, I've been doing this free and exclusive watercolor workshop since last year. So if you want to check out all the other previous workshops, you can just go and check my channel and watch and paint along or even just watch. Saying hi to the replay squad who will be viewing this later. Hello. I hope you're having a good weekend. And thank you for spending some time with me. Learning how to paint with watercolor. We'll watch now and do later. We have actually three squads with this workshop. So we have the paint along squad. They are watching and they are painting along at the same time. Watch now paint later squad. They will watch first, absorb what they can, and then paint later or the replay squad. Those who are busy at the moment, but we will join us later. So drop your squad below and let us know. Hi, Miss Doris. Hello, welcome back. I also have monthly giveaways. I will announce March giveaway maybe next week if I'm not too busy. I will review a product and then and we'll have it for a giveaway. I will also give away Bao Hong because you voted for that. Bao Hong is my favorite watercolor paper so far. It is at par with arches. It is 100% cotton and it has a student grade and artist grade version. Oh, Consuela is wash now and paint later then. Hi, Sai. Welcome back. 
Miss Doris is well watch now and paint later then. Feel free to paint at your own pace. I'll just switch my camera so you can see my table. But welcome, welcome beautiful people. Let's get started. Okay, can you see this clearly? And can you hear me clearly? I will just quickly show you. That will be the reference photo. But then again, since this is just a chill paint with me session, uh, no need to focus too much on the reference photo. So I'll zoom in so you can see the colors that I will be using and the strokes that I'll be doing. Please comment if you can hear me and see me clearly. Is this clear or is this blurred? Hmm? Thanks for confirming, Teacher Yomi. Teacher Yomi is my painting buddy. We know each other personally. And she's also offering free watercolor workshops via her Facebook page. Okay, so this is what we'll work on. This is what we did last week. I'll leave a link in the description so you can paint along if you want to this project. Okay, I'll start with colors. I'll be using loud and clear. Thank you. Hello, Fred stuff. Oh, I am using, sorry, I wasn't able to edit, but yes, I'm using Bao Hong. I'm using Holbein, my paint, for my brush. I'll be using Montmartre and Escoda. But I also have my, hey, come on. I also have Princeton brushes here. So that is my, those are my go-to. Those are my go-to materials. Also, I just discovered this. Beautiful water container from National Bookstore. It's divided into four, and thus I can keep a clean water part here, and then I can rinse my warm colors and cool colors here. And this is for double rinsing my brush. Just 89 pesos. So affordable. Uh, where's my rag? You'll also need a tissue or rag to control your water. Okay, first with the colors. You don't need the exact colors that I will use as long as you have that color from the same family. So if you have pink, go swatch it out first, like what I'll do here. This is Quinacridone Rose by Holbein. And it will... Also help if you introduce some yellow. It will make your painting more interesting. So as not to make our flower too boring by only using one color. Hello, Miss Lorna. Welcome back. If you guys don't have an idea, I have met some of these beautiful people here via Zoom and Facebook room. And we have met each other, talked to each other. And I might host one again, an interactive chill paint along. Okay, now for the green. I very rarely use my green straight from the tube as is. Because, look, I'm not satisfied with this green. And it's totally normal. There is a so-called green problem where you don't seem to get the right color of green. So what I love doing is I mix it with blue. See, I love this better than this one. And I also mix it with yellow. This is Permanent Green by Holbein. Permanent Green and Permanent Yellow better than this one, right? And 
your green plus violet. Ah, lovely. Aren't they lovely? So these are the colors that I will be using. My pink, my yellow, and my different shades of green. Oh, let's add violet as well for those distant leaves or leaves in the background. This is permanent violet. Okay. Watch now, paint later. Haha, <laughs> sure, Miss Doris, pero I cannot promise that this is available in all national bookstore branches because some of the their branches have already closed, sadly. The one closest to me already closed and gave, gave up their place. So I purchased this from one farther from me. Okay, now, I want you, oh, me, Teacher Yomi loves green and red or green and brown. That is also a lovely color combination. Now, I want you to just focus on the overall shape of the flower, okay? The overall shape. And then if you are not yet acquainted with your brush, I want you to practice doing this using the side of your brush or doing this and see what shape you can do. For your painting to look fresh and confidently done, you might want to paint the petals and the leaves in single stroke or two strokes only. So practice doing this using the side of your brush, curving at the top and going down and just focus on the overall shape. Also, to make it more interesting, you'll notice that some of my petals are, should I say, taller, taller than the others. Some I are wider than the others, okay? And I also changed my color when I reach the bottom. I'll mix some of my yellow when I reach the bottom. Right, so I will start with the petals, with this part, observing the overall shape. You don't need to paint every single petal. Paint it as a whole and then just separate it later, okay? I will also prepare my yellow because I will drop some yellow at the bottom. So, one to two strokes. I'm painting it as a whole. I'm dropping some colors while it is still wet. Rinse my brush, load it with yellow and complete the bottom part. Retouch some of the shapes if you need to. Go bigger, go smaller, and that's it. So it's just one big shape, right? No stress at all. If you want to, you can also do the lifting method. I will rinse my brush. I will tap it dry on my rag. And I will lift up some highlights. By doing this, you are already separating the petals from each other. Okay. Then later, I will add darker colors to further separate them. Now for the buds. What I love doing with the buds is paint a simple circle shape. Load my brush with that pink and drop the pink at the top. Okay. 
I'll repeat. Circle shape. If you think you've put too much watercolor on that, just rinse your brush, tap it dry, and then lift. And then I'll load my brush with darker pink and drop it at the top. I'll do the same here. Lift it. Hello, Margaret. I also have Neri here. Welcome back. Internet's terrible today. Ah, It's okay, Neri. You can watch this replay later. And drop at the top. So I have my buds ready. Ah, hang on. I'm rinsing my finger. <laughs> Feel free to drop your questions if you have any. I just finished my flower and my... Hello, welcome back, Micah. My flower and my buds. I'll just lift up some here. It looks too powerful. There you go. Next is I love to work on my stems first before the leaves because it gives me like a backbone. If you are not confident with your thin lines, for example, you have a brush this big. Let me demonstrate with my non-dominant hand, okay? Because if I'm using my dominant hand, I can easily paint thin lines. But say you are a beginner, so let's say my left hand is a beginner here, and you are using a big brush to paint thin lines. Too awkward. <laughs> It's easy to paint thick lines instead. So what we do, what we can do is if you have a smaller brush, switch to that brush. For example, this one, this is Momiji acrylic brush, size one. Switch to that brush instead and paint your stems, okay? So instead of going for a straight stem, I will mimic, I will do this one. There is more movement when you angle your stems. And like this one, straight, looks too stiff. So let us do the same that we did there. It goes like this and curves to the left and back to the right. I also love starting light on my stems. I'll just add the shadows later. Let us connect this bud down here and maybe add that. One here and one for the leaves. There you go. So more movement compared uh, instead of going for a straight stem. We bend that stem let me know guys if you are following along hit the like button if you're done or if you want me to slow down uh watercolor po ba yung gouache paint uh no gouache is different as they as they described it it's between watercolor and acrylic Diba when we do watercolor, for example, this one, it is transparent. So, ibig sabihin, if I paint over this one, you can still see what's beneath. But with gouache, it is opaque. Ibig sabihin, you can no longer see what's beneath that. Medyo magulo yung explanation ko, no? Pero let me use a folder for analogy. Where's my 
Let's say this is your painting. Watercolor is transparent, so it's like this folder. When you cover it, some of the underlying layer still shows. But for gouache, depending on the paint and water ratio, when I cover it with gouache, you can no longer see what's underneath. Pero depending on the water ratio, you can thin it more water than paint so that it works like watercolor or you can use more paint so that it works like acrylic i hope that answer that answers your question hello km welcome back uh, i love seeing some of familiar names here as well okay i'll go with the leaves now for the leaves you'll notice there are some in the background and I do that more water than paint, and I'll use violet with single strokes like this. But if you have a smaller brush, it might be difficult to thin, so you might need two strokes, right? I am using a lighter mixture again, more water than paint to portray that those leaves are in the background. They are farther away from us. And I'm using violet just to add more interest in my color palette. Okay, again, one to two strokes if you can. This will also practice, help you practice your confidence with your strokes. And it is so much easier when you go faster like this than when you go slow with your stroke. It looks fresh when you go fast. So try and do that fast strokes. And you'll also notice that I have uh, painted it in a way that my leaves are pointing in different directions. Some pointing there, pointing up, pointing down. It also adds interest to your composition. Oh, it's hot. Okay, you guys following along? After that, let me add my the shadow of my stem. I'll use this blue plus green and paint over some of the parts. Again, to add interest. I'll see if you guys missed, again, the uh, rose painting. You'll see the link in the description below. And speaking of Rose, I also did yesterday a portrait of Rose with very loose florals in the background. Also link in the description below. Hello, Annalise. And we have Jen here. The video cuts a lot. Can someone confirm? Can you see me and hear me? The video freeze. Hmm. Are you guys there? Am I live? Let me check on my... Mm -hmm. Can somebody confirm, please? Video is okay to me. Uh, Neri says. Yung iba okay, yung iba hindi. Uh, let me try and refresh. Though I'm not sure if I will be cut off. Video is okay, sabi nung iba. Uh, how do I do this?
How do I do that? I'm not sure whether to refresh or not. Video is okay daw. It stops for a short. Okay, maybe I'll just stop every while and then. Uh, every now and then. Okay, I stop now. Again, if you missed it, uh, Rose and Rose videos are in the link. Links are in the description. No worries daw. Okay, let me continue. Maybe because of the weather. I will now use my blue and green mixture. Hmm. Like when I make the strokes. Okay, I'll go slower for the strokes. I hope you can see it. I will go slower. Ah. Can you see it now? I am going slower. Can you see it now, guys? I'm so sorry for that. I'm going slower. Thank you for your patience and for those who are sticking around. There, I am going slower. Did you see that? Were you able to catch that? I'm now shifting to my blue. Are you guys seeing this? Okay, yes, now, yes, yes. Thank you for confirming. Oh, let's not forget to connect our buds. Okay, there you go. Oh, it's okay, Annalise. Now, to separate the petals, we will do what I call softening the edge. And this is what I mean by that. You paint a stroke. You paint a part. You rinse your brush you soften the other edge. So this is hard edge, this is soft edge. I hope that is clear. Hi, I'm using Pram. Any thoughts on Holbein? Says, Ped. Is this our Alan? <laughs> Holbein so far is my favorite. Especially when I'm practicing, when doing workshops, Holbein is my go-to. Prang, I don't have Prang, but I have reviewed it. I will upload it when ready. Uh, if you can, Prang is student grade, eh? Holbein is artist grade. So it really depends on your budget and if watercolor is sort of your priority right now. Hi, Joy. Welcome back. So, yeah. If you really want to experience Holbein, then go buy at least three colors, your primary, one red, one yellow, and one blue, and test it out for yourself. Okay, I'm, I'm separating the petals, softening the edge. Sometimes I'll only darken the top part. Rinse my brush and there, soften the edge.
I hope that answers your question. So somewhat my petals are now separated. I can further darken that. And even go darker at the top of my buds. How much is Holbein? If you'll go for 5 ml, this is 124 pesos. If you'll go for 15 ml, that is 235 pesos. Before, I'm only purchasing 5 ml, but going bigger is a lot cheaper. So I shifted to my 5 ml. Okay, we're almost done and I have a small gift for you guys after this. Let me just finish by adding veins on some of my leaves. And I think I'm happy with this. This can already work as a bookmark, no? A gift or a card, a gift to someone. ta -da! This is how kuripot I am. I use both sides of the paper. Yes, Miss Lorna. And one tube will last you more than a year. Kasi parang ano lang yan eh. How do I say it? Uh, sabong panlaba. The student grade ones have chalk, so my extender. Pero this ones, the artist grade ones, are pure. So, kahit onti lang yung gamitin mong paint, it's still vibrant. Pero meron din namang ibang cheap brands which are vibrant and not chalky. But I haven't still, I haven't tried that yet. I do that too. <laughs> diba? Tipid. I'm a first timer here. Hope you can suggest items brand that I need to buy. Thank you. Um, for first timers, I think you will really have good experience when you invest on your paper. If you there is a five by seven Baohong on Lazada, just look for Baohong watercolor paper. It costs around three hundred pesos. But if you can't have that, maybe go for Canson Montval. Or Hanemule, if you can go to Jovir. They have branches in Recto and Mega Mall. Or sa Art Bar. If you are not if you are not familiar with any of the brands that I'm talking about, just watch a review first on YouTube. But I can really recommend Baohong. This is this will level up your painting experience. Does it become solid? So far, hindi, Christine. This tube has been with me for two, I know, three years. 2018. 2018 ko to binili. Can you see? Basta you, re, you replace the cup, the, the lead properly, tapos, um, dahil artist grade nga siya, it will last for long. Yes, Baohong. Oh, oh, Baohong talaga. Don't worry, guys. I will have a giveaway. Baohong. I buy a roll of Baohong. So, 1 meter by 10 meters siya. That's why I can use it like this, you know. Uh, hindi ako nang hihinayang. Kasi isang roll na yun eh. That is a lot cheaper. Pero, syempre, it is costly at yung upfront price niya, it's 6,500 per roll. Pero again, that is 10 meters by 1.15 meters. It can last you a whole year and even longer, depending kung gano kayo kadalas. Pero yun nga, meron naman 300 pesos lang sa Lazada. Ang Canson Montval, how much is that? 200 pesos na rin yata, pero that also works very well. Maganda na rin siya, but the problem is hindi pa rin siya 100% cotton. Hanemule 2 is good, but hindi rin siya 100% cotton. If you can get access to Strathmore, maganda din siya. Strathmore. I'll show you my journal. 
this one, Strathmore. This is not 100% cotton, pero maganda na siya. Yan, I also use it for portraits. Maganda na siya. So this one naman is 400 pesos for uh, 22 sheets, 44 pages. 44 pag balik taran uh, bi ang bilang nyo. And then yung double the size of this one is around 800 pesos. So yun yung mga brands na preferred ko. Mm. Uh, my mini gift for you is, let me check, where is that? Oh, there are some people who haven't claimed their free access to uh, Skillshare class ko. Let me check, ha? Or they have accessed it, pero hindi nila kailangan ng free access kasi registered na sila sa Skillshare. So if you want, guys, medyo paunahan na lang. I have in the link below yung free access for this Rose. As in free. Wala rin akong kikitain sa, sa views na yon. So, eto. Roses in five styles. Gamitin nyo na lang yung link in the description. It's my mini gift. Again, this is my birth month. That's why I'm, I'm so generous this month. And if hindi nyo naman ma-access, naunahan kayo ng iba, you can still binge watch all of my four classes using the, the link below. Scroll nyo lang, makikita nyo yung link. Okay? And then, again, I am inviting you all to my first collab with a, a brand. We will paint lot Lotus later. Royal lot Lotus. Where is that? Here. In celebration of Women's Month. And that is via Facebook Live. My prices din sila. My prices din ako. So feel free to join us via FB Live and then... Uh, Sorry, I was lost. And then let's do this Royal Lotus painting. Our goal with that collab is to promote self-care, especially for women who are so into, how will I say this? Auto, Naka-autopilot na, you know, gising, chores, work, bantay ng bata. So if you have girlfriends, your mom, your teachers, tag them during the live and let us paint a Royal Lotus. Okay, via FBN. Thank you so much. Ah, ayun pala. Ah, Lazada. Lazada yung bawong. Um, 100% cotton, Miss Doris, yung talagang top of the line compared sa wood pulp. So far, hindi maganda ang experience ko sa wood pulp. I won't say the brand, sorry. Kasi madaming gumagamit nun, baka sabihin nila bias. Ay, yeah, yeah, the green. Thank you for answering, Teacher Yomi. Okay, I'll, sh I'll see you. Huh? I tried to access, but it kept... Ah, you will need to, I know, Miss Neri, you will need to sign up. Pero when you... You are presented with the page asking for your credit card details, skip nyo lang yon Hindi nyo kailangan mag-ano. Kapag ginamit nyo yung free access link ko. Okay? Still live. Says, yep, yep, yep. I'll see you later via my FB Live. I'll just rest for a while and test my internet connection and whatnot. Ah, one more thing. Sorry. One last na last. Guys, it is so hard for us to see your paintings. So you can do what we always do, upload your painting sa link below. Or if you can, please use my hashtag. I also included it in the description below, Bianca's Arts Workshops. Para mas madali rin kay Teacher Ella to find. Siya kasi nag upload sa Instagram namin. So use Bianca's Arts Workshops. And when I'm free, I can leave a quick feedback on your painting. So that's all. I'll see you via Facebook later. Thank you so much for tuning in. Next week, I'm not yet sure whether to paint cherry blossoms or sunflower, pero I will launch a poll and let you help me decide. Okay, thank you so much, guys. See you later. Bye.